What's up? So today for the exercise tutorial video, I want to go over the RDL and the single leg RDL. So a couple things to remember, an RDL or stiff leg deadlift is going to be different from your standard deadlift. So RDL, you're going to lock your knees into a slightly bent position and then it's all hinging at the hips, okay? A deadlift, you're going to have a wider stance and we're going to drop the butt a little bit more, chest is going to come down, you're going to come all the way up. So there's a lot more movement downward movement of the hips than there is in the RDL. So, first to start off the standard RDL, we're gonna use a kettlebell. Bend those knees slightly, make sure the back is nice and flat, shoulders are back. We're gonna poke that butt back, down, and then come back up. So on the way down, it should immediately light up the hamstrings and the glutes. If you go too low, you're gonna know that you're gonna know that you went too low just because you're gonna feel it in your low back, okay? So let's shorten up the rep a little bit. If you're still feeling low back tightness, low back pain, shoot a video of it and email it to me and then I'll get back to you and kinda see if I can troubleshoot it for you, okay? So, think of somebody poking you right in the hip flexor to get that butt to go back, or you can think about it as you're on like a cruise ship, okay? The rail's right here and you wanna look over the side, so, in order to look over the side, we have to poke that butt back and get the chest out over the rail, okay? Because the standard problem I see with the RDL is that people tend to drop the knees and try to keep the chest high, and it's kind of like a hybrid squat, weird looking thing. So think of that cruise ship rail or somebody poking you in the hip flexor or both, whatever works for you. Now, single leg deadlift, all those same rules are gonna apply, except obviously we're gonna be on one leg, okay? So I'm gonna start with my right leg. What I wanna do is load up my ankle, so I'm gonna push my knee forward a little bit. Now what's gonna happen, we're gonna come down, load up the hamstrings and the glutes, come back up. Down, load the hands and the glutes, come back up. So you're looking to keep a nice flat back, as flat as possible. We don't wanna see you going all crazy, crazy rotation, okay? We wanna keep as flat as possible and make sure we keep the ham and the glute loaded all at once. All right, so tons of different loading variations you can do with this. I'm not gonna go into that today. If you want to know some more, just you know, beyond the normal loading variations, leave a comment below or shoot me an email, chris at reformedathletes.com. And uh, that's it, have a good one guys.